had a little company, used to be in America, called NASA, standing for National Air Space Exploration. <laughs> Take my word for it, niggas, it stood for going up there. Look at white people, that is not what it stood for at all. That would be N-E-A-S-A. -S we don't know what it's doing. Fact of the matter is, NASA used to report to us. Let us know what the fuck they was doing. And for 40 years, they spent $500 million a year sending space shuttles up, bringing them back down. And they used to let us see them when they took off. And then when they landed, we'd be right there and we'd say, show us what you got. <laughs> then they started doing sneaky shit. Taking off the space shuttles at three o'clock in the goddamn morning and shit. Landing them in the middle of the night and if ain't nobody looking, they just walk off, just shh. <laughs> and now on CNN, they say they just discovered 16 new super earths 16 new super earths now let me speak for all niggas when i say what the fuck here's a goddamn super earth we thought this motherfucker was super the whole goddamn time Look at niggas, I don't believe none of this shit. <laughs> You're all going to die down here. What is space? What is space exploration? What did they start doing in Project Paperclip. What did they figure out during World War II? What is Werner von Braun up to? What is the spaceman? The final frontier is the space in your head. That's the final frontier. Space, the final frontier, it's psychological. And that's why a lot of these powerful people, these Tavistock people, these social influencers, all that, it's because they're hacking the final frontier right here. And so the metaverse, you're wearing a suit and goggles and now your senses are being affected when you're in this world. And you can already see this coming. What is it starting to look like? And I know a lot of you guys already see it, but this is what it's been the whole time, a spacesuit. I think that this is gonna be the inevitable result of technology increasing and increasing and increasing, bringing people into space. That's the spaceman. What is the spaceman? Imagine you're wearing a helmet where all your vision, your smell, your taste, your hearing is controlled inside this bubble. Your body is uh, sensoried and stimulated based on all this shit that's surrounding your entire body. There's valves in it to bring in air, etc., etc. That's it. That's the goal. The goal is to get the spaceman, us, to wear this shit and enter into space. So that is the ultimate design for the metaverse. Look at it. If you get shot by an arrow in the thing, stimulation, stimulation. You know, you're in a sex room. The, the groin area is, it starts vibrating. But the spacesuit is the way to control all sensory perception of a human being. And then to be able to inflict sensory on their skin. That has nothing to do with going into quote unquote space, but space, the final frontier is imagination land. It's your internal world, it's your consciousness. And that was always the goal of Project Paperclip. They believe they're hacking God's law because the world isn't run on money, it's run on will. So it's how much you identify with inside the internet and it's happening already. Space is the internet, space travel is the internet. live TV and live images more than most on this call. I've got a few questions on that. Is, is, are you guys seeing live videos in the control room um, before we do? Why can't y'all share that data in real time? Why not share, even if it is low res and not the greatest quality, 
why not just put that all out there for everyone to see live and in real time? Not everybody can be a robot polisher. I think the team has done tremendous work of giving us the the highlights of what uh, the mission uh, images and all the all the video that we've seen, and really happy to see uh, what what we see from the moon and of course looking back on the earth. So we didn't expect to, to get live stream uh, video. So this was something new that we just learned uh, a day or two ago that we would be able to do. It's pretty spectacular. Um, but now that is going to be the new normal. Uh, we will we will live stream uh, camera data and when, when we have the bandwidth available because we am now uh, figured out that we have the ability to do that. Obviously, that, that uh, high resolution data and, and video uh, takes a long time to download, but we're doing our best we can and, and, and we'll, we'll continue to, to download those as, as, uh, as we can. This is absolutely amazing to me. Uh, you, can, you can see the Earth kind of setting uh, towards the, the moon that's in, in sunlight there. Um, just, just I, I came in this morning and it was just just stunned at, 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 uh, at watching this video. Standing on the shoulders of the giants of the Apollo generation, Orion now carries forward the torch of the Artemis generation as it emerges from behind the moon and Earthrise of our pale blue dot and its eight billion human inhabitants now coming into view. Now you are seeing the earth, you are seeing home, you are seeing yourself in that image right there. That's us, that's home. 232,000 miles away from Earth. We had uh, a good uh, Earth rise as well, but we just saw kind of the Earth popping out from what looked like a black, uh, black mass, and so uh, so that was a that was a really good, uh, interesting um, way to view the the Earth rise. And, and it's just it's just been phenomenal. I, I, I got a big smile every day. I just see people and I'm smiling, uh, and it's just been terrific. It's giddy. Uh, I mean, the 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 it, people are just amazed, right? Absolutely astounded as well. You know that that uh, these these great great uh, videos that they're that they're enabling to to get from uh, from the Orion spacecraft. They're just happy. I'd say everybody's in a great mood. And we're like kids, just smiles across the board. A dream for many people who work at NASA. You said giddy, I'd say, you know, just big smiles and just like a kid at a candy store, I would say, just how happy we are. All you have to do is walk into a classroom of kids and look how their eyes get big when you start talking about space. Uh, we actually uh, uh, went directly over the Apollo 11 uh, landing site. Obviously, we were in, in darkness at the time, so we, we weren't, weren't able to get pictures of that. But um, Did we find any flight items? You don't want to find flight items at the, at the pad, right? Uh, in terms of did we find flight items, we found two. You don't want to find flight items at the, at the pad, right? There's our elevator doors. Uh, we, uh, we had the world's most powerful rocket and in, in, in the pressure uh, basically blow the doors off of our elevators. I, I love this photo. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, wow. So, so we, it will take us a few days to get those particular images done. Um, the last image that I'll show and share with you is the uh, much sought after uh, Snoopy image. Again, we're proud to have them on board. Uh, a great, great story there. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. Like a kid at a candy store, I'm really happy to see uh, what, what we see from the moon and of course looking back on the earth. That's us, that's home. 232,000 miles away from earth.